uplift lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Divine greetings. We thank God for Elation Magazine and the opportunity to podcast every Thursday, 5 o'clock Central, the Loretta Petite Show, Women Winning at Life for Ministry to Marketplace. Look for Loretta Petite on Facebook so you can get information about our official prayer line. We'd like you to join us. Thanks again, Elation Magazine. And you're down for the count You feel like life has thrown you blows And God ain't been around But I've come to encourage you To hold your head high Know that God is in your corner now inner life You are a winner You just can't lose Who burn a chaos More than a conqueror Jesus in you You are a winner You are born to win Yeah. 
Great, 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 great day, everybody. Thank you for joining us here on the Loretta Petit Show. Women winning at life from ministry to marketplace. To God be the glory. I pray that you're having a fantabulous day and that you recognize that it is a day to be grateful. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. And the day to be thankful, actually, I call it a thankful Thursday. Praise the name of the Lord. So on today, I want to talk to you, of course, uh, always about being a winner, always about being successful and knowing who we are, amen, so that we can walk the path, we can try the pathway, the journey with the Lord God, for we know that the Lord God is uh, not man that he should lie. He's not the son of man uh, that he should repent, but he has this something that, you know, we don't have, and that is that God is infinite. That's right, that God is omnipresent everywhere at the same time, infinite, and that there are no boundaries to our God. He is omniscient, that his knowledge surpasses any and everything, any and every one. He's all-knowing. Amen? Hallelujah. Our God is an awesome God. And today I just want to say thank you to God. Thank you to God. Hallelujah. Thank you to God. That's what I just want to say. Thank you to God on this thankful Thursday. And I pray that you took time out as well to give thanks to God. So our scripture can be found in James chapter 1 and verse 7. James chapter 1 and verse 7. And I'll be reading in your hearing from the, first of all, the King James Version. That's my version of choice. And the Bible says that every good and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. I love Love, love that scripture. That scripture inspires me when I'm feeling like a flat tire. That scripture inspires me when all doors seem shut. That scripture inspires me when I don't feel like putting one foot in front of the other because of situations and because of circumstances. So let's break that down just a little bit. So for a little help, I'm going to go to the Good News Translation of James 1 and 17. The Good News Translation says, Every good gift and every perfect gift comes down from the Father who created all the lights in heaven, in the heavens. He is always the same and never makes dark shadows by changing. That's one way to look at it. I want to get some more help on this particular scripture. So I'm going to consult the New American Standard Bible, which says, every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. So one more, let us try my other favorite Bible translation, and that would be the uh, New International Version, the New International Version. I really actually like the Life Application Bible, but I can't always seem to find um, that particular translation in uh, the list of translations. So because I can't seem to always find that, I'm going to go to the New International Version. It says, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly light, who does not change like shifting shadows. He does not change like shifting shadows. I love that. Shadows shift, shadows move as we move. But God does not shift, nor God does he move out of where he is. And he is 
the one who gives us the good gifts, the perfect gifts. He gives those gifts to us. And so with what God has given us, with what God has given us, let us take those same good and those perfect gifts, work them, work them, work them, and at the end of our journey, give them back to God. Amen. Give them back to God. So listen, I'm Loretta Petit. If you'd like to reach out to me, please feel free to do so. I'd love to hear from you. You can send your email to LorettaReviews at gmail.com. That's LorettaReviews at gmail.com. You can also hit me up on IG at uh, I am Loretta Petit. You can find me on Twitter at Preach Girl and on Facebook. Just simply look for Loretta Petit. All four of them would be me. <laughs> in the New Orleans area, that is, okay? Um, but if you don't see a picture, that's not me. All of my uh, accounts on Facebook will have pictures, okay, of me. So having said that, I want to give a shout-out to my awesome producer, Miss Kimmy Kim. I love you, my sister uh, on my daddy's side. That's right, my sister on my daddy's side. Uh, we both call uh, Jehovah God, Daddy, right? And that my sister on my daddy's side. And I want to thank you for your uh, your loving heart, for your spirit, your prayerful spirit, and for all that you do for little old me. So thank you to Miss Kimmy Kim. Um, and I'm giving a shout out to all of you that's in her area in Missouri. My daughter's there as well. Hats off to you, precious. Uh, also to Mr. Jerry Royce doing awesome things, inviting me to Atlanta to be on the TV show. Okay, Mr. Jerry Royce, I might take you up on that. Just keep on sending that information. So thank you for all you do and allowing, um, you know, this to take place and I could be a part of this uh, in the universe at this space and time. I'm grateful. So don't forget to hit me up, connect with me. Let's uh, stay on the winning team, and that's always on the side of God. So I want to share with you today uh, from Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. This is such an awesome book. Oh, my God. I mean, every time I look in this book, I see other things that I didn't see before. Just blesses me. Now, this is not a new book. This book was written a long time ago. But today I want to look at Chapter 6 in imagination. I want to expound on some of his points here. He says, the imagination is literally the workshop wherein are fashioned all plans created by man. The impulse, the desire, is given shape form and action through the aid of the imaginative faculty of the mind. It has been said that man can create anything which he can imagine. Of all the ages of civilization, this is the most favorable for the development of the imagination because it is an age of rapid change. On every hand, one may contact stimuli which develop the imagination. Through the aid of his imaginative faculty, man has discovered and harnessed more of nature's forces during the past 50 years than during the entire history of the human race previous to that time. He has conquered the air so completely that the birds are a poor match for him in flying. He has harnessed the the ether and made it serve as a means of instantaneous communication with any part of the world. He has analyzed and weighed the sun at a distance of millions of miles and has determined through the aid of imagination the elements of which it consists. He has discovered that his own brain is both a broadcasting and a receiving station for the vibration of thought. And he is beginning now to learn how to make practical use of this discovery. He has increased the speed of locomotion until he may now travel at a speed of more than 300 miles an hour. The time will soon come when a man may, when a man may breakfast in New York and lunch in San Francisco. Guys, this book was written a long time ago. That time has come. You can eat breakfast with me in New Orleans, and you can be with my girl, Kimmy Kim in Missouri, by lunchtime. Man's only limitation within reason lies in his development and use of his imagination. He has not yet reached the apex of development in the use 
of his imaginative faculty. He has merely discovered that he has an imagination and has commenced to use it in a very elementary way. How about that? I want to tell you about all the imaginations you have. They mean something, guys. There's something you can do with them. Take your imaginations. Don't exalt them against the knowledge of God. Of course, in other words, don't combat God. Don't uh, interview God and feel like you're a match for God, but take what God is giving you and use that imagination and why don't you hone it and make it something that can be useful in the earth realm. I want to give a shout out to Miss Raynell Super Stewart. She took her imagination and she created a company that suddenly overnight became a million dollar success. She is an African American sister and her company is called Crayon Case. If you haven't heard about it, look it up. Entrepreneurship has evolved tremendously, no longer fitting a normal standard. Welcome Super, cosmetic line owner, music manager, clothing boutique creative director, and social media trendsetter would definitely not be considered your average CEO founder. The New Orleans native started her magical climb to entrepreneurship by merely being her authentic self via her social media outlet. Her comedic timing, raw and unfiltered opinions left strong impressions on many, causing an influx to her following and opening up the door for her creative journey. The creative comes from the imagination. The imagination is a part of the creative. A memorable moment for Super was her um, hilarious debut on Kitchen Nightmares in 2011, where she candidly expressed her views on her then employer with Chef Gordon Ramsay. We know him, right, from Hell's Kitchen. She handled his intense critics and personality with ease. This encounter sparked a very popular hashtag, hashtag cooking with super, where tips and tricks for culinary are shared and expressed. So I want to say to you, wherever your imagination is taking you, take the walk. Take the journey. Know that God has got something super for you. Yes, indeed. Now, her, creating, her, her crayon case, rather, is a cosmetic line dedicated to amateur makeup users and aspiring makeup artists, aiming to encourage all people to treat their face as a blank canvas as they pursue the ultimate creation of their personal masterpiece. Now, let me just pause here to say, did she create makeup? Nah. Was she the first person to talk about how to apply makeup? Uh-uh. But what she did is she found her niche. She decided to say, let me create this line for the amateur makeup users. Who would that be? Oh, that would just be about every household in America that may not have gone to school to learn how to apply the makeup. She used her imagination in a way to make it work for her. Let's get back to the imaginative faculty. It functions in two forms, you know. One is known as synthetic imagination and the other as creative imagination. Now, the synthetic imagination through this faculty, one may arrange old concepts, ideas, or plans into new combinations, right? This faculty creates nothing. It merely works with the materials or experience or education or observation with which it's fed. It is the faculty used most by the inventor, with the exception of the genius who draws upon the creative imagination when he cannot solve his problem through synthetic imagination. When we look at the creative imagination, through this faculty of the creative imagination, the finite, man, man, the finite mind of man has direct communication with infinite intelligence. That would be God. It is the faculty through which hunches and inspirations are received. You know, yeah, I had a hunch to do this. Yeah, I was inspired to do that. It is by this faculty that all basic or new ideas are handed over to man. It is through this faculty that thought vibrations from the minds 
of others are received. It is through this faculty that one individual may tune in or communicate with the subconscious minds of other people. Now, there are times when you're with someone. Let's look at it like this. <clears throat> and you get this thought. You get this unction to say a thing because this is what you're feeling. This is what you're reading from the infinite. This is what you're reading from God. He has given you this thing to say, but you don't say it. But the person right next to you immediately picks up on it and they say it. And you say, oh, my God, I was just about to say that. Well, the question is, has that ever happened to you? (laughs) Because this is what happens when Holy Spirit is speaking and he's speaking to you because something needs to be said right there and you don't say it. He uses the vessel who's willing. So just like that, you may have an idea to create the next coffee pot. But you do nothing with that idea. And that person that you're hanging around, they always you're always having this coffee pot on your mind, but you never say anything, you never talk about it. But the person that you're hand that you're right next to or the person that you're in a company of, or the person that you share space with, they suddenly start drawing out this outline. And then they start getting excited about this product. And then they start putting money in it to make it. And then they start talking to you about it. And then you start feeling like a flat tire because you're like, I thought of that. That was my idea. I never told you about that idea. How did you know about that idea? So this is what the author is talking about. The creative imagination works automatically in the manner described in the subsequent, you know, uh, informational things I'm about to tell you or some of the things I've already said. This faculty functions only when the conscious mind is vibrating at an exceedingly rapid rate. As, for example, when the conscious mind is stimulated through the emotion of a strong desire. The creative faculty becomes more alert, more receptive to vibrations from the sources mentioned in proportion to its development through use. This statement is significant. Ponder over it. Ponder over it. Get with it. And you stop wondering how everybody else gets to do this and learn this and learn that. Some of them may be getting it from you because you're constantly ifing at it. You're wanting to do it. It's on your mind. It's in your spirit. You're vibrating, and somebody's picking it up. And you might say, oh, I don't believe in that. Okay, well, you don't have to. You don't have to. But those who believe and are receptive, they receive. They get so much information. They're so creative. They're functioning at a high level because they constantly get these ideas. They constantly feel this in their spirit, and then they have the confidence to go forth. So I want to encourage you as leaders in God's kingdom, because I know he's made all of us leaders in something. That's why he said to seek him, because he's feeding. He's yet speaking from eternity. What do you think God is speaking to you? What do you think God is doing? God is speaking, winning ideas consistently. He is speaking to you for you to grab hold and move forward. And he's sharing with you, I am with you always, even until the end of the earth. He is telling you, I'm there. Be confident. He's telling you, you're the head, not the tail. He's telling you, you're above and not beneath. He is telling you, go for it. He's telling you, walk on the water as Peter did, but keep your eyes on me. He's telling you to step out. The Lord is speaking from eternity, people. So back to super and her crayon case. She had valuable impressions that sparked the interest of some very uh, uh, reputable production companies. From these impressions, she started to share her interest. And as we were talking about, from her impressions, they were valuable. She started to share her interest with reputable production companies. And that landed her on all deaf digital in 2016. Many offers for reality TV productions followed. Her respected opinions helped her launch the Soup Kitchen podcast, where super and close friends offered their unfiltered opinions on current events and personal life situations. Soup is not only known for her sense of humor, but for her unique and unconventional parenting skills. After a video of her teaching her son, Trey, to protect himself 
from bullying by roasting or ribbing. It went viral, all right? And then she was featured on Vibe, on BET, on Essence, and so many others. My God. Now, early on in her career, she understood the importance of branding. After resiliency, being mentored by Jessica Dupart, you might know her as the real B.B. Judy, most known for her smart, strategic, strong, and tactical marketing skills. This mentorship helped blossom and motivate this woman on branding. Early in 2017, she became immersed in the world of beauty and makeup. She worked tirelessly to create the birth of the crayon case. The crayon case, a safe haven for amateur makeup artists and newbies to the makeup world, has taken social media by storm. Crayon cuties are obsessed, clashing sites, and begging for relaunch days after continuous product sellout. Now, this will never conform to what society may say a social media personality should be, making her more appealing and loved. The success of the crayon case has proved she is unrelenting and determined to be the best at all she accomplishes. So having said that, I want to say this. Did you see her tenacity? She started with one thing. She did that for a minute with Chef Gordon Ramsay. Then she went on to branch out from that TV show into some other things that she enjoyed. But she started with her Soup Kitchen podcast. She talked about, you know, uh, recipes, and she did current events on it, personal life situations, right? And then she went to her videos, and she parented. She taught her son how to protect himself through, uh, from bullying. Yeah, then she got on TV to talk more about that. Then she went on to the makeup area. So my friends, did God love her more than he loved you or loved me? No, God is speaking. But if you lock the door and say, I don't believe, I don't believe that, I don't believe that, then you will only have that little corner that you've got. But if you want more, open up the door and say, speak, Lord, I'm listening. And when God speaks to you, you're going to have to have the confidence. Close your eyes, hold his hand, do what you got to do, and walk out on the water. Trust God. You're listening to the Loretta Petit Show. Women winning at life. A ministry to marketplace. I share with you about the imagination, about vibrations, about picking up in your spirit from, from the infinite mind of God and, you know, being able to step out because as you see somebody else successful, that should make you excited because you know that God is still sending out success from on high. And he loves nobody more than he loves you, more than he loves me. I thank you, Kimmy Kim. I thank you, Jerry Royce, for this blessed opportunity. Uh, shared from the Napoleon Hill, Thinking Grow Rich on Imagination, and of course about the crayon case makeup. A sister girl who did it. She thought she could, so she did. I want to encourage you to think that you can. Think that you can, like the it little engine that could. Think that you can, and I guarantee you, you will. So again, our scripture as we close out today. James 1 and 7, and once again, I'm going to give it to you from the New King James Version or from the King James Version. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. I want to just give a shout out today to the Jones family and the passing of their loved one, praying your strength, just got that text. Uh, God is able. Just look to the hills from whence come at your help. Friends, that concludes this podcast for today. Please join me right here again next week, um, and I pray that you will show up for me. I promise you I'll show up for you. I'm Loretta Petit. Till next time, bye-bye.